Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Serbia. Last time we had really given the Greeks a good run for their money actually. Um, with a small military we've actually pushed them back completely to their capital. Um, we have them pretty sandwiched in there. So I'm waiting for the final few uh, Vodniks here to fully deploy uh, once they have, there's only what, like four of them, three of them now. Uh, once they have fully deployed we're gonna go after them. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, this quickly, uh, take over the naval fabrication, and then hit the city of Elv El Elvis, El Elvisus? Elvis, El El I don't really know, Elvis, Elvis. We're attacking the city of Elvis, uh, because we just really, really want that rock and roll. So, we're going to do that, um, and then that uh, leaves the capital quite open, and this uh, land fabrication as well, which is where they're producing um, the last of their uh, troops. So even if we can't take the capital, like if we try and, and continue to fail, uh, hopefully we can at least take this land fab so they have no way of uh, producing any more uh, units. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's, that's at least our, our short-term goal and then once we have a you know bigger army and stuff like that or bigger air force and we can bomb them out then we'll uh you know go after the uh the capital and take them out later and just leave them in uh in a state of very unfortunate uh limbo for the time being so um yeah that's that's kind of the uh, the idea at least for right uh, right now so we are going to attempt to do that here now i don't think we'll Take the city, but it'd be nice if we can at least get like one of those APCs dead. Um, you know, just 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 to put my mind at ease, knowing that one of them is dead and we actually accomplished something. Well, I guess even if we take this, technically we've accomplished something, so that's that's fine. So let's move our troops into there now. Uh, pew pew pew. Come on, let's let's make this quick. Okay, good. It's taken. Let's take over. El Elvisus? Uh, seriously, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Elvisus? Elvisis? I really don't know. I feel really bad that I don't know. Um, you know. Um, if you're going to go repair, that's cool. But please don't just go off to the uh, to the side. That's not really that cool. Oh, good, we took it. Okay, everybody retreat back now. Let's have everybody run away. Yeah. And we'll go and repair... Good, so we took that and we took the city of El 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 Elvis. We took over Elvis, everybody. <laughs> it completely took over Elvis. So that's a naval fabrication, which would be great. We don't have one of those yet. There's a CP in a military complex there as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, we, we seem to have hit the capital <clears throat> without much repercussion. I'm kind of surprised that... Uh, that it worked out that way, but that's good, because we can attack that next, and then we can attempt to hit the capital, see where we can get, um, you know, I'm not really, oh, fuck, okay, hold on, we need to, we need to deal with, with some stuff here, since it's going to really damage anything coming through, oh, there we go, oh, wait, we didn't kill it, fuck you, okay, we killed it, uh, trench, anybody really damaged by that? Uh, it took a bit of a hit, but, uh, you know. <coughs> uh, well, yeah, we should probably repair them. They are pretty, uh, fragile little Vodniks, so we probably should repair them. So there we go. So I'm going to trench them there. So, um, that was actually very successful. I'm surprised at how successful that actually was. Uh, so that's actually really, really good. I'm quite happy about that. Now, we had an issue with Moldova. Uh, they declared war on me, and they you know, had that. So I think Moldova's going to have to die in sometime in the future. Um, pretty pissed off at them. You know, they kind of... They made their mark, at least. They uh, they made sure that I'm not making as much money um, now. And I'm not. I'm not making anywhere near as much money uh, because of them taking away my fucking oil. Those bunch of bastards. And plus, it's going to be even worse because uh, you have to... Uh, you know, you have Serbia here, which is really annoying. Um, also, I'm pretty sure I found out who uh, the dislike botter uh, actually was. Um, there's a guy kind of local in in, uh, in in the town I live in and stuff like that. He has a YouTube channel. But he is, um, to put it lightly, um, uh, a piece of human garbage. 
Uh, he's one of those people that uses, like, you know, religion as a crutch. He thinks the world is flat. Uh, this is all legitimate uh, as well. Um, like, this is what he thinks. The world is flat. Bill Nye is a Satanist. Um, there's there's a war between heaven and hell going on. You know, a bunch of random crap. And unless you think that Serbia is heaven and the rest of the Balkans is hell, you, you know, any rational person isn't going to think that. So, yeah, I blocked him uh, the other day because he said some interesting things. <laughs> On his uh, on his YouTube channel, and the dislikes suddenly stopped. Um, so yeah, uh, that's not to say they might not start up again. Because if he realizes that he's blocked, he may just you know, it's pretty easy to do and and create or use another YouTube channel to to put a bot and stuff on. So uh, he may notice at some point. Who knows? This video could even have you know the ten dislikes back. But uh, I'm pretty sure because as soon as I blocked him, it stopped. So you know even if temporarily, that kind of points towards him as, as the probable culprit, and he, you know, he knows who I am, he doesn't really like me that much, which is fine, I don't like him at all, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's him, so I think I've, I've, I've resolved that for at least now, or at the very least I know who is, who is doing it, which is, is kind of nice to know, um, so yeah, um, yeah, he's, he's kind of fucking crazy, he's, he's an absolute nut job. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, like, you know, if you if you just wanted to troll somebody really hardcore but felt bad because you're a decent human being, uh, you can go to his channel and and, uh, and and go right ahead. Post all of the crazy memes that you want. You'll get blocked quickly because he's one of those kind of people. You know, you'll, you, you can call him out on his hypocrisy, but he will uh, just call you a liar, tell you to study genetics or something, and then block you, and it's pretty funny. Um, he, he will never rebuttal with uh, strong, coherent arguments ever. Uh, because he probably either knows they're flawed or is just too stupid to even understand what he's even read. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty sad, to be honest. I mean, I just play strategy games, you know. <laughs> and he's going off on, like, fucking all kinds of stuff. He's he's pretty crazy. It's, it's, it's almost funny, but it's just, it's not quite there. It's just still on that level of really, really sad. So, um, yeah, I think he might die getting there. Uh, no, he lived, okay. Good, good, he lived. Good for him. Do, do, do. But yeah, I'll, I, I don't know, I'll put his channel link in the description if you want to go and tell him your displeasure and how disappointed you are. Give him a dislike too, that's all good. I'm not saying go harass him, but you know, if you want to go see his stuff and, and not like it, that's fine. That's really cool, that's cool. Um... How many of these do we have left? Twenty four still in there. See, the problem we have is, you know, like we have we have no reservists. I have I have full fucking funding in the military, and we have no fucking reservists at all. Like we have full funding in the military, and it just nobody wants to join the military apparently, because they're like, uh, everybody dies in the military. Um, even though I think my military really likes me. Yeah, they do. They love me. They love my they love my beautiful face. So it's kind of like. Herder? Why, why not? No, what do you want? Formal alliance! You declared war on me not that long ago. Fuck you. Bosnia? What do we have? Just peace. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna be declaring war on you at some point in the near future. I hate you. You, you, you absolute colossal asshole. <laughs> fuck you. Formal alliance. I declare a war on me, what, like, not even six months ago in game? Like, fuck you. Well, being your friend, you'll die in a ditch. God's sakes. What's going on here exactly? It looks like, so, the Ukrainians have dug deep. Again. The Romanians still look like shit. <laughs> so nothing has changed there. Uh, the Romanians are still, you know, more or less getting their ass handed to them. Which is bad for me, because I just, I don't want to go to war with the Ukraine, like, right now. I don't have, I don't have the Air Force to deal with the crap that they have, um, is more so my problem. They have a lot of artillery bullshit, and I just, I don't want to deal with that. Um, it, it's just not, it's not a fun thing to deal with. I, I just, I just don't want to have to deal with it, so... Yeah, I'm not. And apparently, Hungary just pissed off Poland again, and, and so what's left of Slovakia. Good job, Hungary. You colossal wankers. 
How they're still alive is just beyond me. They're at war with basically all of Europe. To be fair, I was too at one point. But we, uh, we got better. How are the Germans doing anyway? So the Germans have fought off the English. They're fighting what's left of Belgium and the Netherlands. Um, they're fighting Switzerland and doing actually a decent job at it overall. Uh, you know, as good as a job as you can against the Swiss with, like, limited tanks and stuff from being in, like, 8,000 wars. Uh, so they're actually doing quite well. South Germany doesn't seem to really have an army, I would say, but they they have a lot of land, so that's, that's good for them. And East Germany is just more or less somehow still alive. Nobody's really sure why or how, but uh, but they're still alive, so good for them. You know, that's good for them. Okay, so we got five more from looking around. Uh, who's this? East Germany wants petroleum. Sure. How many of these do we have left? Like, ooh, there's a tank still in there, so we, uh, we gotta make sure that he's alive. Oh, yeah, right, because we have this one of these land fabs is actually alive. That's right. We're actually producing stuff out of that one. Uh, oh, what the hell's going on here? Oh my god, there's a Kentaurus. Oh, shit. No! No! Stop undoing my things. I will... I will end you. I will end you. Everybody out. Everybody out. Everybody out. There's one of you that's damaged. Who is it? Oh, it's two of you. Fair. Fuck, I can't see the other one. Oh, well, you'll be alright. Fuck you, you're not doing anything. <laughs> See, this is why I want to take that land fat, because then they won't be able to do that, because they just, they produce those out of, like, thin air. So, they won't be able to do shit like that. That's, that's the reason. That's the, this is, this is, all this is doing is just reinforcing my campaign promises here. That's all this is really doing. Um, okay, so we're going to entrench him. We have nine left, God damn it. Uh... BM2, yeah, sure, actually, I'll take a BMP. Why not? For like $2 million, sure. Sounds like a great plan. I like it. I wonder if, like, you deactivated that barracks. If you didn't have enough units to deploy, what would happen? <laughs> like, what would what would actually happen if, if you did that? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like, I don't want to do it, because I don't want to, like, kill a unit, but... I'm, I'm genuinely curious as to what would uh, happen. Very much so. Uh, oh shit, that tank actually came out. Hello! We produced a tank. Hooray! Go us! We did something. Oops. Oh. Uh, Vodnik still has to come out. Oh wait, hold on. Where are you going? Come on, one Vodnik. One Vodnik. It's just one Vodnik. Deploy you. Deploy you. Oh, it shit, it worked. Alright, so we have the army back. Kind of. The Greeks aircraft apparently are attempting to do things, and they're not doing a great job at it. Um, again, typical day for the Greeks. So we're going to take out that land fabrication and attack the capital and hope for the best there. Um... And we barely took out Elvis, so I'm not really expecting anything spectacular. But you never know. So, alright. We are going after that first. Come on. Boom, boom. Ours. Back off. Everybody back off. Let's... Oh shit, fuck you. Are you serious? Let's attack the capital and see what kind of damage we can actually not do, probably. Why are you retreating out that direction? That seems like a very poor way to go. Where are you going? Go. What? What? Go repair. New York is eliminated. <laughs> oh shit, we're actually going through, to, towing through these APCs here. If we can actually get through that, we may actually be able to take Greece here. Oh my goodness, we may actually be taking it. You've got to be kidding me. Everybody out. Everybody repair. Oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> really? Seriously? So we just gained, like, decent... We actually gained a bunch of planes and uh, a bunch of ships. Um, so that's good. 
a um, couple of units. Maybe we'll entrench them here. Trench, in trench. It's there, nothing. A couple of APCs, things. Okay, wow, all right. Um, I didn't really expect that. We're going to build a transport road. Right over to there. Is that active? What the fuck? How did that stay active? How did that stay active? Um. How did that stay active exactly? I, I, what? <laughs> what? Hello. Okay, in 80 days we get a whole bunch of units then. Cool. Some leopards too. Cantaruses. Some, you know, they're not like shit units. Dang. Okay, um, so... <laughs> production wise uh, zero to one oh what are we doing then Let's make some uh, make some of those god god damn idiot what are they what are you producing m84s uh yeah okay that's another tank production facility sure four lines of vietnam yeah okay remains an active yeah, i wonder if it's that one that one yeah <laughs> probably that one too no no not quite um <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Alright, well. Cool. So everybody's going to entrench there. Now, I'm not sure if I want to shove the Ukrainians back, or do I want to go after Bosnia for being a cunt? Um, I could go after Hungary as well, but that would also, again, leave me open for Ukrainian attack. So that, you know, the Ukrainians would have to be something that I dealt with. Um,. See, like, the U I want to deal with the Ukrainians, but again, their air force scares me. There's a lot of it. Uh, it. It's spread out, yes, but there's a lot of it. So that's, you know, a little bit distressing. I don't want to really deal with it. Um, but we're going to have to at some point. So maybe we'll deal with it right away. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go in and see how it, how it works, you know. We'll go in with a goal of taking that this land fab here and, and kind of cutting them off a little bit. And, um... We'll see how that plays out, but uh, I don't have that high hopes. I don't know, that's, that's my idea, at least. All right, well, um, that's it for me this time. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.